Hello, and in this video we're going to be looking at some new options that have been put in so you can remove all this icon clutter from the heads up display. You can now set what icons you want to see and when you want to see them. So here you can see standard setup and here when I zoom in everything fades out. Now that's the standard setting that the game now comes with, at least on the CTE servers. So here you can see that the common setting is for all icons. So all icons have a default of 100%. If you change that, everything will fade out. Then you have some settings for when zoomed. You've got objectives, interactive items, pick up weapons, and things like med bags and ammo packs. And I've played around with these settings quite a bit to see what they're like. And what I've found is that common at 100% and everything else turned off when aiming down sights seems to work very well. Next you can see enemies and friendlies. As default everything shows up on enemy icons all the time and I've changed it to do that for friendlies as well. So the targets here don't count as players they count as world items so they're disappearing. After quite a lot of playing around with these settings, I found that this is what I like best. Common 100, all the zoom options at zero, and for enemies and friendlies, keeping the icon at 100% for both, info at 100% for when not aimed, and info off when aimed. So you still get the triangle icon for enemies and friendlies when zoomed in, but you don't get the info bar. When you look at it in game, the first thing you'll notice is that you don't really notice, especially with the settings I've got. With the default settings, you do notice because the icons become indistinct. When they fade out, it's a bit hard to tell one washed out color from another. But as you can see there, although the icons are disappearing, so if you look, you can see that all the objective icons have just vanished when I aim down sights. The important information doesn't disappear, so I know who's on what side. And although the outer ring of a revive icon disappears, which is the new triage information, you can still tell that there is somebody down who needs reviving. Now showing the enemy information disappearing is a bit trickier because of course you've got to be up close and personal to see it. So, let's have a look at a couple of frames from that. So on my settings, when you've got an enemy player up close and you're not aiming, everything is exactly the same. You can see all their information above their head and their little triangle icon. But when you are aiming, all that information disappears. All you get is the little triangle. Now, this isn't important in a situation like this, but on something like lockers where you've got a lot of players standing around in one area, or if you're using a higher magnification scope to shoot at a bunch of players, their name tags aren't going to be getting in the way. Now it's a bit easier to see in this little clip because I take a guy out and he gets revived, and when he's on the floor, you can see there all these details, but when I aim at him, they all vanish. Now while the player information disappearing when aiming is nice, the big thing is of course all the world information. So the objective icons disappearing, the ammo bag icons disappearing, the pickup items disappearing, all the clutter you can now just get rid of. Although it does mean that also gets rid of things like claymores and C4 on the floor while aiming down sights. But to be honest, with the settings I'm using, it's not going to make a vast amount of difference to your gameplay. It's just that every now and again situation where you've got a cluttered screen of icons, or you're trying to shoot at somebody who's on an objective, and the objective marker is bigger than their icon is. Aiming down sights, that objective marker will now just disappear. Get out of your way, and you can actually shoot at the person you want to shoot at. 